nighttime breathing. At European Sleepworks, they have many options to help side sleepers create the comfort and stability they need. From their unique contoured mattresses to their patented custom-fit oxygen pillows. After all, for over 50 okay, years, so they've I been working on it. your side. And that's a good thing. And, uh, European Sleepworks in Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley. They're online at sleepworks.com. San Francisco Opera is celebrating 100 years of producing thrilling opera in the Bay Area. In honor of this centennial, the Dolby family is offering $10 tickets and great seating locations to anyone within a Bay Area zip code who has not attended the opera in the past three years. San Francisco Opera's 100th anniversary season begins this September. Come and celebrate. Visit sfopera.com slash opera to claim your tickets. Are you a real estate investor looking to refinance one or more of your properties? Most lenders only work with cookie cutter W-2 borrowers, not Cash Call Mortgage. At Cash Call Mortgage, we have loans designed specifically for investment properties. We qualify customers based on the cash flow from the investment property and no tax returns or employment verification needed. Cash Call Mortgage does not charge any broker fees. If you're a real estate investor looking to refinance one or more of your mortgages. Give Cash Call Mortgage a try. You can start your application online at cashcallmortgage.com or call now. Call 800-939-3690. That's 800-939-3690. Licensed by California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Residential Mortgage Lending Act License Number 4131083. Not licensed in all states, including New York. These loans may have higher interest rates, higher points, and or higher costs than a full documentation loan. KTBS News Time 1111. There's been an increase in West Nile infected mosquitoes in Santa Clara County this summer. So far this year, 18 human cases of West Nile have been detected in California. Most infections are symptom free, but those with com uh, Im excuse me, those with compromised immune systems and the elderly are at higher risk of severe reactions, even death. And when it comes to building housing around the Bay Area, the question is whether we have enough water to support the growth. KCBS's Jennifer Hodges gets an update from the experts. The state Department of Housing has ordered the Bay Area to plan for 441,000 new housing units in the next eight years. John Goodwin with the Association of Bay Area Governments says that will mean fewer growth in already developed areas. So that plan, which connects transportation, housing, economic development, and environmental resilience, has the potential to actually ease water supplies in the region. It's a combination of sort of these policies that we have in place, but also education. Heather Cooley, Director of Research at the Pacific Institute, says we're already making progress to save water with building standards like efficient appliances. Uh, you know, people are, are making these changes as well because they understand the constraints that, that we have. Laura Feinstein, Sustainability and Resilience Policy Director at SPUR, says there's also recycled water and desalination to consider. So those new supplies will also help us get through this new era of a warmer and more extreme California climate. Jennifer Hodges, KCBS. An anti-government militia member who was sentenced to 10 and a half years in prison for obstructing justice in an investigation into the shooting of law enforcement officers in Oakland and enticing a minor to engage in sexual activity. The DOJ reports 35-year-old Robert Blancas of Castro Valley is a member of the Grizzly Scouts, a militia group loosely connected to the so-called Boogaloo militias or uh, anti-law enforcement and anti-government extremists. Mercedes-Benz, plus four ways to win. 
if anybody is out there and you can see what's going on and can straighten some of this out, you can always give us a call at 415-391-GCBS. Your next traffic update is at 1128 on the traffic here at Here is your six-day forecast. Uh, heavy coastal fog overnight with patchy fog around the bay. Lows in the 50s and then hazy sunshine tomorrow after morning fog and overcast. 60s at the and 80s around the bay to the low and mid-90s inland. Hazy sunshine Wednesday through Friday. Just slightly cooler topping out in the low 90s. Continued to cooler over the weekend too. Highs from the 60s to the mid-80s. Traffic and weather together on the 8th. On all news, 106.9 and AM 740 KCBO. The Good Guys, 35th West Coast Nationals Car Show. Get details at goodguys.com. After surviving a brutal attack, I going to be killed. Why would this is going to sound so strange. I'm KCBS reporter Kathy Novak. Join me all this week for a series of special reports from inside Soledad State Prison. Right here on the Bay Area's number one news station KCBS and streaming live on the Odyssey app. KCBS News Time 1120. After being authorized for use in adults last month, the Norovax vaccine has been cleared for emergency use in adolescents. Here's KCBS's Jim Taylor. This new type of vaccine, protein-based, seems a alternative to the mRNA vaccines, about which some people do have objections. The primary difference is that a protein-based vaccine is already made ready to delivery into the muscle, for example, whereas an mRNA vaccine is actually the genetic material that encodes for the protein. Dr. David Martinez, immunologist, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, and a guest today on KCBS Ask an Expert. Question, just how soon after recovering from COVID-19 should I get a booster? Maybe five months after uh, having an infection, if someone wants to get boosted, uh, that could be a good timeline, which is actually the recommendation uh, for receiving a booster after uh, vaccination. But those individuals um, are actually uh, well better off in terms of uh, being able to ward off um, SARS-CoV-2 and its most infected. Variant. That's some good news there. You can listen to the entire interview at kcbsradio.com. Jim Taylor, KCBS. Another 1,600 vials of monkeypox vaccine will arrive in San Francisco this week, making 8,000 doses available. Those eligible for the vaccine include sex workers, men, those who have multiple partners, and those who've had close contact with someone suspected of or confirmed to have monkeypox. Nearly one quarter of the state's 2,600 cases have been reported in San Francisco. And research suggests extending a woman's fertility might help her live longer. KCBS's Melissa Colross has details of the study. The key is ovaries and how they behave. Ovaries are aging a lot faster than the other organs in a woman's body. So making these hormones, which are absolutely essential for overall health, things like estrogen, progesterone, and many other things. Dr. Jennifer Garrison with the Buck Institute for Research on Aging in Novato says when women reach menopause and ovaries stop producing those hormones, that dramatically increases the risk of heart disease, stroke, cognitive decline, and other conditions that can lead to death. So Garrison says the number of years a woman's ovaries function and she's fertile potentially could help her live longer by delaying the onset of age-related diseases. But is putting off menopause a realistic goal? Garrison thinks so. It'll take some time, and we need to fuel the scientific discovery. I think it's a very tractable problem. It's not something that we shouldn't be able to solve. It's, it's something that's really possible. She notes that the first step in this work is for researchers to learn why ovaries age so quickly. Melissa Kalroff, KCBS. A bill that would have allowed safe drug injection sites in San Francisco, Oakland, and Los Angeles was vetoed today by Governor Newsom. KCBS's Chris Ann Carl gets reaction to the veto. This is a major missed opportunity. Democratic State Senator Scott Weiner of San Francisco wrote the bill, which would have allowed the sites as part of a pilot program in those three cities. Two people a day dying on the street in San Francisco of drug overdoses. And these safe consumption sites have been used around the world for almost 30 years, and they are proven. In his veto message, Newsom says he's considering strong plans and unintended consequences. Democratic Assemblyman Matt Haney of San Francisco says the cities were prepared for the site. Well, I can tell you that there's definitely strong, engaged local uh, support and leadership on for this uh, in San Francisco, Oakland, and, and L.A. Oakland Mayor Libby Schaap says she's...